Hey everyone, it's Ashley here from Ascension NXT. And today I am doing the April 19th full moon reading. And this reading is going to last until Monday, whatever that date is. I don't have a calendar in front of me. It's going to be for the whole weekend into Monday. And then you can join me live on my Ascension NXT Facebook page for ABC reading. And a lot of times I will pull cards for people with that. So today we are in my card room at the shop. I've been getting work done here. And um, yeah, so we're gonna begin. I'm going to light a blue candle for Archangel Gabriel to come in. That's actually his symbol. So I'm going to do that because definitely a lot of Archangel energy around with this full moon. That's what I'm feeling. And also, too, the lighting's a little weird in here because it is my card room and I don't like a lot of light. I actually had to bring a light in here. So as long as you guys can see me and mostly hear me and smudging inside of your home as well so that good energy goes in there so you can just receive the messages that you need to receive for this weekend all right so we're going to be using a few decks today we're going to be using kyle gray's angel prayers deck then we have this new one that i got i seen amanda ellis on youtube use it and i was like oh my god i need that deck so it's called the light star deck it's really cool and then Starman Tarot by David DeAngelis connects with David Bowie. All right, wait, I need to get my lemon water for this. <laughs> so give me one minute. Okay. So... I read a little bit about the moon. I don't really like to read too much about them and before I go into a reading because I really like to just channel and connect with whatever I'm supposed to tell you. So it may differ from that. I'm not an astrologer. I connect more psychically and intuitively. I have a lot of galactic energy, so I just connect naturally with that. Um, but astrology is great, and I definitely love to learn more about it. And I am little by little, I'd say, every day. But here we go. So let's start off with the Starman Tarot. Okay, and see what is going to come in with this. So I'm going to ask the four archangels to bring their energy into the space with me. And if you would like, into your house as well. So Archangel Raphael, Archangel Michael, Archangel Uriel, and Archangel Gabriel. Yeah, so what I was saying with the um, reading, what I was reading about it is it's a lot about relationships. Um, I guess what doesn't serve you anymore. And honestly, I forgot what else I read. So I'm probably not even supposed to like really talk about it. Let's see <laughs> what's coming in. It's like I read things and just forget because I'm not supposed to remember it anyways. All right. Separate them into three piles. I'm going to pick a pile. I'm going to start like that. Oop, these cards wanted to come out. So these cards just went right on the table. So let me mix these up and I'm going to pull from these. So we got one, two, three. Wow. Okay. So we have two court cards and then a major arcana are the first cards that came out. So we have the Prince of Wands upside down. You guys see that? Yeah. These cards are a little weird anyways, so let me show you the upright because this is just like too much to process when it's upside down. And then we have the King of Pentacles right side up. And then we have the Hanged Man right side up. Funny, because if you watched my reading for April 18th, I said calm before the storm, and it looks like there's a storm in the back of the Hanged Man. 
So I think that's pretty funny. Ooh, when I'm holding this card, I keep seeing keys, like keys unlocking. So to me, that means there's a lot of different energies coming in. It's not just one key. It's like many different energetic fields opening. So before when I was meditating um, about this reading, I kept seeing that I feel like there's going to be two sides of this energy coming in. And I keep seeing a lot of people arguing and angry and fighting about something. And then I kept seeing the energy of the crone, which um, is really pulled to the energy of Hecate. So Hecate is a crone energy. She's like the queen of the witches. She's a Greek goddess. She's the goddess of the crossroads. She represents the underworld. She brings the dead souls to the other side. There's a lot of things that go on with Hecate. But when I think of Hecate, I think of like darkness but I also think of crone energy where she doesn't put up with any shit and I see one side of the energy being very like childlike and wanting to argue and fight and and I honestly I feel like this can connect with the page of wands like a very immature energy poking at you um really wanting to get more out of you or wanting to start a fight. And this could be physical people in your life or it just could be the energy in general. Like really wanting to stir up anger. That's what I keep seeing. Like people arguing, people fighting. I feel like this is collectively. So there may be something that happens. Or I like, I keep seeing like marching and um, what do you call it? I don't know what that's called. I always draw a blank when I'm reading. Whatever. So anyways, um, just like, and that makes sense with the King of Pentacles too, because in a way he's, not that he's the crone, but he is in a way, um, more mature energy coming in and being like, you really need to knock that off. You really just need to stop because you're just being ridiculous and you're being immature and I'm not going to deal with your shit. And then we have the hanged man, which usually represents sacrifice. And putting things aside, like I see the hanged man, like putting things aside, like normally, I feel like with this situation, it would be like I would normally get involved, but I'm not going to. That's the energy I keep seeing here. So that's very interesting. Let me pull some angel cards to get a little bit more clarity. Yeah, it's like somebody's want, I keep getting that message, somebody's wanting you to engage in like a lower vibrational energy, like a lower vibrational fight, or saying, come on, we need to go stand up for ourselves, and we need to um, speak up against something, but I'm feeling like it's from a very immature well, like point of view. It's not something that really means anything. It's more selfish reasons. That's what I keep feeling. It's like that selfish little kid just wanting something because he wants it. So just be aware of that energy trying to pull at you and trying to make you like feel bad. But the King of Pentacles is so strong in this reading. I feel like he's like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. I'm not doing that. And I feel like the hanged man actually represents, like, normally you would fall for that. Normally you would go and do that. But I feel like you're not going to, you know? So it ain't me even be like you have to sacrifice, what, like, saying something or, like, you're holding back on speaking up against this because it's just going to be a waste of your energy. It's just going to be a waste of your time. So you're just, like, not even going to bother. You're just going to be like, you know what? I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. And I think that's best for me right now. And then we have the, un the unconditional love card. I feel like I pull the same cards all the time. That's why I like to use different decks when I do these videos. Mm, okay, this makes sense. All right, so 
I feel like with the crone energy, what I was like, I'm telling you, the crone and the king have the same energy right now. They're both not putting up with any bullshit. They're both like, I'm not dealing with this shit. This is immature. I'm just going to walk away. Like, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk away from whatever is trying to pull me away from where I'm supposed to be. Or in like, when I'm saying where I'm supposed to be, it could be like literally mentally, emotionally, or physically. It doesn't necessarily mean this is all the same because this is collective energy. So it could be something in work going on. It could be something in your family or it could just be something mentally that's trying to pull you away or emotionally, energetically from where you're supposed to be in that mindset. So if you've been really strong in your in your stance lately and been like, this is how I'm going to live my life and this is how I am going to, I'm going, I'm going to think more positive and then something happens where it's like, oh God, I can't deal with this right now. Um, and then we have the mother coming in, the unconditional love card. And this card is going right next to the hanged man. So I feel like in a sense, the divine feminine energy is coming in this weekend. Like, I'll handle it. You walk away, I'll handle it. Let me connect with that more. It's going to diffuse. That's what I keep seeing with the feminine energy. It's just so strong. It's going to diffuse whatever battle it is. So if you call in the feminine energy, like you can even call in Mother Mary or Kuan Yin or um, any, you know, nurturing goddess energy that you feel connected with or just in general, that divine feminine energy, I feel like it's just going to diffuse that energy because the these two cards are connected. And I feel like she's going to, almost in a way, she's not going to sacrifice because she's stronger than this energy. Like, she doesn't need to sacrifice energy. She's just coming in and literally projecting the light, and it's just going to diffuse. That's what I keep seeing. It's just going to diffuse. Protest was the word that I was trying to get before. Some energy is going to try to make you like protest or stand up for something. But I'm telling you, it doesn't mean shit. That's what they keep saying. It's false. So there's a lot of energies that try to come in and they rile us up. And it's literally a distraction. It happens all the time. It's literally to distract us. So... I feel like what this energy, what these cards are saying right now is don't let anything that's making you feel off distract you. Just because it doesn't feel emotionally, like it's like, oh my God, this doesn't feel right and I need to do something about it. You necessarily don't always need to do something about it. Like this, this whole, these cards right here are saying that the divine can step in and do what it needs to do to diffuse the situation. And that's probably why the archangels are coming in because... They're very good at diffusing any negative or more lower vibrational energy. So you can also work with them. Very interesting energy for this week. Weekend. Okay. But yeah, it is a lot about walking away. And I, I remember that's something that I read about. And that's like what the King of Pentacles would do is he would walk away and be like, I'm not dealing with this. No. And fucking Hecate, are you kidding me? She wouldn't put up with that shit. She, I, I don't even think that would be in her radar, honestly. Yeah, look at that. Again, confirming. Live your joy. Stay in that stance. Stay in that stance of being like, no, I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm not going to deal with this drama or I'm not going to deal with this negative thought. You know, I'm not going to deal with this voice in my head telling me I can't. I'm not going to deal with this story in the news that's trying to rile me up. You know, it, it literally could be anything. It could be anything. It, it definitely is. It's like it's like dark energy entering. Dark energy entering, but it doesn't mean that it has to take over our field. It doesn't mean, like, during these times, we're learning how to maintain our light in that darkness. Like, that is what the ascension is all about. And there's a lot of tests coming in. There's a lot of energy that's coming in to test us. And to me, it's like, it just keeps saying, this isn't that serious. This isn't that serious. This isn't that serious. Oh, 
queen of wands. Look at that. Oh, I like this. Okay, so this is how these cards are laying out right now. So we have the Hanged Man here, and then we have all these cards here. So the Hanged Man is like a whole separate thing. Like, he's in his home, own little world. I feel like the Hanged Man is like more metaphorical in this reading. He's like, you can go to this route, but do you really need to? Or can you allow divine assistance to help you? Then we have the Live Your Joy with the divine feminine energy. So this is like what's keeping your vibration high at this moment. Okay, is that energy. It's allowing the divine to diffuse for you, to get rid of for you. And then I have the Queen of Wands. And I love the Queen of Wands because she is just so magical. And I feel like this is the energy that's coming in. Like this is the reward. So if you allow and trust the energy of the Divine Mother to come in and just clean up that little mess, this is the energy that you get to work with. And this is the fun energy. So I feel like this is coming in for next week. This is the energy that this moon is bringing in. It's fun, it's magical, and you can play with it. It's not playful, because I don't feel like the Queen of Wands is like, let's go play. That's not. She, the Queen of Wands likes to play with energy. So she likes to try out a bunch of different things. She likes to test things out. She likes to test a water. She's magic. That's what wands are. It's all about magic, you know? That's how I look at the Queen of Wands. She can also be very tough, too. She's a very fiery energy. So she can get very angry. She can get very upset. But I feel like with this Queen of Wands, is she's very... Um, I feel like she's very protective. That's a very protective energy. But it's also like wanting to explore. It's like the exploration. And I feel like that came up this, this week too in one of my daily readings. But this energy is a lot stronger in that. Create. Oh my God. And even, she has, even has Hecate's wheel in her dress. Huh. So cool. So if you Google that, Hecate, it's spelled H-E-K-A-T or H-E-C-A-T. You will see that actually that little wheel is one of her symbols. But anyways, the Queen of Wands doesn't like to waste her time. She likes to play around, but it's, it's playing with the energy. It's not... Dealing with drama and all of that bullshit. All right, pull one of these cards. Lord of the Rings music is on in the background. Let's see. Yeah, so again, look at this. The Guardians, Shielding, Defense, Warning. This is, I feel like, what this reading is for anyone who's watching it. Is It's a warning. It's a little bit of a warning for the little... It's that energy that's trying to shake you up. It's just trying to shake you up, and for a good reason. Because when you come out at the end, you're going to be a lot more clear. You're going to be in that mindset of the Queen of Wands. Like, okay, I have these options, and I'm going to play around with them, and I can create through these options. So let me see what is coming up next within my life. Or let me see what I can work with. We also have, so the court cards that we have here too, is this is what they're telling me right now, is we have the King of Pentacles, who is very grounded, and then we have the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is, I feel like she can go either way. She can go up or she can go down. Um, but I feel like in this sense, it's kind of balancing out the earth energy and that etheric energy. That's what I'm feeling. So like, it's like with the Libra, the scales tipping like this. And then when we get more towards the beginning of the week, things start to even out a little bit. It's that clarity. I also see the queen of wands using her wand for the light. 
So she's pulling the light in with her wand. That's something that they keep showing me. It's like a signal. A signal to the divine. All right, I'm gonna pull one of these cards again. These are the Magical Dimensions card. Okay, so this is another feeling that you may be feeling this weekend or for the moon is that you really want to isolate yourself. So you may have committed to something. You may have committed to going to a full moon ceremony or if you're not into this shit, a fucking party or something. And you're like, you know what? I'm just really not feeling it. You should trust that feeling because there's this energy out that wants to create mischief. So if you're feeling very like, I don't know if I should go out, then trust that feeling. That's what this card is saying. It even says loneliness, reconnection, and home. So it's definitely going within this weekend. Ooh, I just got a weird feeling on my shoulders. There's a lot of shifting going on this weekend. So pulling the other cards, we have the Four of Swords. We have the Star card. Which is like, I feel like this card right here is... Yeah, it's like it's the energy isn't going to feel too great. That's what I'm getting here. So then your mind starts going like, what's wrong? What did I do wrong? You know, like, am I going backwards? Is things that I was like manifesting or trying to work towards? Is it not going to happen? You're just going to have like an eerie feeling. This to me means yes, it just it's 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 like a dark cloud coming over for the weekend. Don't it's 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 an illusion. It's like a kind of like it's allow yourself to pull through this energy. Then we have the Six of Swords here. Oh, and then we have the Chariot. So these are all about movement. Movement. That's all we're doing is the energy is moving and the energy is shifting. That's why it feels weird. So whatever is going on astrologically, it's, it's a lot of moving and shifting, which can make us feel uncomfortable. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles, and I really feel like this is for next week. This is opening up the week. So this is going into Monday. This is a great card. This means new doors are opening in many different avenues, and this is why the Queen of Wands is like, here I go. It's like a fresh start. So the end of the week, into the weekend is going to be a little like foggy and musty and weird and then I feel like in the beginning of the week so I, I, you know honestly Archangel Haniel keeps coming in too and Archangel Haniel, Haniel is the Archangel connected with the moon and the divine feminine and like um healing for women like she connects a lot with that but when i really connect with archangel haniel intuitively i connect her more with that hecate energy like that dark goddessy kind of energy so yeah it's and when you think of the dark goddess you think of shadow work so you might really just need to like lay low this weekend maybe just work on projects but don't like, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm going to be doing any videos this weekend or anything. Like, that's why I've been called to just get this video done and put it out. And then I'm going live on my Facebook on Tuesday. Like, that's when you're going to start seeing me again is next week. So this weekend, I'm going to lay low and plan and finish my projects. We also have Easter on Sunday, if you're into that. Um, so family time. Oh, that could be where some of the drama could come in. 
you know. But don't get pulled into it because I keep hearing it's like not as big of a deal as as that. The energy is going to make it look like, look at this. Don't you want to fuck that person up? Don't you just want to talk shit? Don't you just want to go and um, protest that or start a fight? Or like, that's what I feel like it is. But it's like literally just passing through. And then the week after, like Monday, I see the sun coming out. So things are going to be more clear. And I feel like that's a representation too of the Queen of Wands with her wand up. And the light coming out. Is there any more cards that I should pull? Oop, the music just stopped. When I asked that, weird, it skipped. I hear one more. I'm gonna pull from this deck. Ooh, look at that. So it looks like next week, there's a lot of reconnecting coming in. A lot of soulmate energy. This is the promise, soulmates, attraction, partnership. So interesting to see what will come up for my ABC on Tuesday. All right, I hope that you all enjoyed that reading and Definitely like and subscribe and share my videos with your friends. Um, I will be doing more daily readings. So the weeks that I don't do the ABC, I will be doing some daily readings. So definitely subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all soon. So happy full moon and blessed be.